Okay guys, so, okay guys, so for this video, I'm going to be making a Space Marine 2 tier list. And the thing is that I'm a level 100 virgin, so I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Space Marine 2 uh, classes. I've been playing the Operations mode basically non-stop. If you guys uh, check my channel, you'd see that literally every video before this had something to do about like Operations and just Space Marines. And uh, I played every class, made a really good build for literally every single class. And um... I played all of them at their best. I literally leveled them all up to like max. And so I feel like I have enough, um, I guess, merit and experience to talk about uh, where, what these classes deserve in the ranking. And so, you know, at the end of the day, this is my opinion. So if you disagree, please don't cry in the comments. But yeah, let's get this started. So firstly, I'm going to be ranking the Heavy. The Heavy is by far one of the best classes. I feel like the only reason why people don't rank it, like, they usually rank it at A or, like, very high B. The reason why I feel like they rank it, you know, kind of low where, than where it's supposed to be is because it's kind of boring. It is boring. I'm not going to lie to classes. low key boring. But is it, it's insanely strong. This class, by far, does, like, you could get it to do 85% extra damage. And then on top of that, this class is just incredibly tanky. And depending on the enemies you're versing, like, if you're versing Chaos enemies, this class becomes even stronger. The Heavy Bolt is, uh, if you build around it correctly, you could literally get yourself to near infinite ammo. Insane, um, just H, like, just insane tanking this class. You're able to, like, overheal, and especially now, since the contested health got nerfed, because you're able to overheal before, and the thing is that you're not able to do that now, so uh, armor is really, like, needed now, especially that, that's what I think made the heavy class from, like, A to definitely S. This class is a definitely, like, maybe low S or high S. But, well, I mean, there's only going to be all, uh, one other class that I think, you know, competes with the heavy. I mean, it does high damage. The multi melta is, like, literally the best gun in the game. Iron Halo makes it to where you're even more tanky, especially if you're reversing Chaos enemies or if you're reversing Tyranids that shoot at you. The Iron Halo always helps. Also, if you build around the Iron uh, Halo, could give you damage buffs and just knock um, major enemy enemies back. There's not much to say. The, it has really good guns, very tanky. Armor right now is a lot more worth than health because it's a lot easier to gain back because all you have to do to uh, do is parry. And so that's why I feel like it's very strong. And also, a lot of you guys, um, or some of you guys will be like, oh, it doesn't have a melee, so I don't know why a uh, class like that deserves ass. You, to be honest, the melees are all dog shit. The thing is that melee is very weak in this game because it's like you don't really get rewarded for going crazy with melee. And so, yeah, without a melee weapon, this um, character does just fine. By far deserves ass. Sniper, genuinely one of the best classes. Definitely in the top three for me. I enjoy playing this class. For anyone that is like, oh, this class can't um, hoard clear. Oh, like some classes could kill, you know, major enemy, uh, enemies at the same time as the sniper can. First of all, no. Well, maybe because of uh, the tactical, but the tactical is the tactical. But also you're actually able to... um horde farm with this you're able you're actually able to like wave clear with this i actually made a build on this so if you guys really want to see what i'm talking about i literally made a class where you could just two shot to execution um major enemies and then on top of that i made it to where you this quite literally even after the nerfs on the like ammo things everything if you're versing against hordes this class actually has infinite ammo because if you kill multiple enemies in one shot with that uh, perk class you basically get your ammo back and the thing is that if you build it the right way you could build a lot of radius um damage also and have the headshot hunter head uh headhunter perks where you do 30 percent extra damage on headshot just because of the uh, less fusion and then you're gonna also have a lot of radius damage which makes it really good for wave clearing you're gonna have that um ammo always up this is in, like this class especially like on the build I made is really good I feel like a lot of people don't build it that way and so that's why they probably think it's not that good but honestly this class takes down major enemy enemies like extremely quick uh, quick uh destroys bosses health and also um co wave clear I feel like it does everything on top of that I didn't even get started on like talking about the camo the camo gives you 75 percent extra damage and then on top of that it's like really good for support very good for survival very good for um killing damage boost the enemies can't see you and you can heal um uh teammates when you're in the invisibility state and also give them a cloak of invisibility I'm not going to lie, this might have deserved a uh, low ass, but I don't want to have like three classes. So if anyone's wondering, like, I uh, think it deserves ass. 
I damn near put it there, and it's very high A. But yeah, the sniper class is extremely strong. The only reason why I think I wouldn't put it in S is because now you can't really overheal. So um, armor is a little bit more uh, overrated now. Like definitely like the number one thing because I did make a. I don't want to keep on shamelessly bugging my uh, vids, but um, you uh, for like survival, and I literally played one map for 150 minutes. And the best way I was able to survive that is, yeah, um, getting my contested health, but was really pairing and getting my shields back because armor is very, like, useful now just because you can't overheal. So that brings me to the tactical. The tactical, by far, in my opinion, is the best class. This has some bias in it because I just love this class so much. It does everything. It has really good guns. The bolt rifle with the grenade launcher absolutely decimates anything. Anything. Three shots the um, major enemies. And that's without the auspex scan. That's with literally like no buffs. And the thing is that the auspex scan is what makes this character even more busted. But like before the nerfs to like the ammo, or, like the ammo and the um, what's it called, overhealing. This by far, this would have been nothing. Would have been at S and tactical would have been like there would it would be a whole nother lead. It would, there would be S plus. And I would have put him like there. That's how strong he was. And he's still really strong. Still does like has the highest DPS, has the highest damage, destroys bosses like their actual children. I mean, the tactical is just insanely strong, and you know the reason for that is the bolt rifle with the grenade launcher, three shots, um, major enemy uh, enemy threats, and execution, and that's only one more shot than the sniper. And the thing about the grenade launcher is that it has a very high area of effect so you could get a lot of major enemies just by shooting at the floor under your feet and as long as their uh, major enemies are hoarding you they get knocked back they get stunned also the minor enemies are on you also die and it's like you basically just merc everyone near you like it's so strong and then on top of that the reason why tactical and the reason why i'm bringing up bolt rifle a lot is because the tactical is the only one that has access to a bolt rifle. Also, has the melta um, rifle, which is really good. Also, has the plasma rifle. Has three, uh, three of like basically the best guns. The only guns it doesn't have that I think the other class has that are pretty much like maybe better or on par is the multi melta and the heavy bolt and the uh, um less fusion. And those are the only two weapons that I'm like, oh, you know. Th these costs have better than uh no, well not better but they have really good guns that the tactical doesn't have access to but even then um i put them very high so it's not like um really saying that the tactical is uh just because it has a lot more weapons it's a lot better but that's kind of what i'm saying um okay and so basically uh, uh enough with the bolt rifle the melter rifle is also by far if not like the third best gun the second best gun or maybe the first there's a lot of like arguments you can make for it the melter rifle is like insane and then i'm gonna get to the perks the perks by far makes this a lot stronger i was just bringing up the guns first because you know you could have a class that has insane perks has insane like damage boosters if they don't have good guns they're not going to perform good and we're going to get to the perks. The perks are insane. The Auspex scan is definitely by far one of, if not the best, uh, DPS ability there is. You're able to get to uh, up to like 200% extra damage with the tactical. You could one-shot headshot any major enemies with um, the perk that... Uh, uh, it's like one of the end, like, end perks that make, make makes it to where you're able to one-shot anything that gets hit by your auspex scan. It just takes a uh, cooldown. But even then, you're able to like two-shot to three-shot any enemy while they're in your just regular auspex scan. Because they're going to be taking, depending on how you build it, 175% extra damage or 200% extra damage. And that really depends. Like if you're using the melter rifle, you basically three shot them to death. And the melter rifle is meant for like horde clearing, has really good ammo and all that. Well, yeah, now it just destroys um, major en enemies with the uh, tactical build. And then with the grenade launcher, you're basically one shot to two shotting them and they're dead. And by far, like if you have the tactical in your team and if you have a sniper in your team and you have a heavy in your team, any boss, any mode, any anything is dead and under like. 20 seconds the damage output you could get with the tactical is insane and that's just the damage i'm just bringing up the damage right now the ammo economics with the tactical is by far the best just because he's always able to get his ammo back by um killing major enemies and you see like i'm high damage really good um 
survivability because you get the contested health so easily because all of his weapons have very like AOE attacks with very high damage and then on top of that he has a 3 armor so he has really good armor for even more survivability and this is actually the class I did the 10,000 kill game with and I was able to survive 150 minutes in the horde for like yeah for 150 minutes with only NPCs with this class that's why I play this class and that's why I think this class is the best but um there could be arguments for sniper or the heavy you know, I just that I play tactical the most, so I think he is the best uh, class. I know we're going to be moving on to um, the last three, which I definitely feel like is weaker than um, these three. It's just that these three, you don't really need a team. You could solo, like, Ruthless pretty easy. And don't, don't get me wrong, I solo Ruthless with every class. I just find these three to be a whole lot easier than these three. And so we're going to get to the Vanguard. The Vanguard, I feel like after the like nerfs to the contested health it really like he, he used to be like a but i feel like just because how much like contested health that nerf to like overhealing is i might i don't know i will put him at low a for now the only reason why i think that is because like when you have two armor you really have to have really good survivability and i feel like okay yeah you're gonna play um vanguard but is Vanguard better than Heavy? Heavy does a lot more damage, has a lot more survivability, especially now after the new patches where armor is just a huge deal for armor, Heavy, with a shit ton of ranged damage, boosters, and you're basically able to just smoke anything, and you wave clear extremely well. You could also destroy the major enemy threats, right? And you, you have four armor while the Vanguard has two, and the thing is that the Vanguard could take like a lot of damage it's not it doesn't take that much to like destroy it i know the vanguard could take out major enemies like pretty quick but i feel like these classes do a lot faster and a lot safer like the sniper could like stay far go invisible and has a lot more utility in my opinion a lot more survivability could stall out whenever your teammates are dead could go and heal them and does a shit ton of damage on headshot and also horde clears pretty well well, the only thing I could really give for Vanguard is it kills major enemies kind of fast and is good at uh, wave clearing. But the thing is that these two classes actually destroy hordes and also destroy major enemy, uh, enemies extremely quick. And another thing I could give to uh, Tactical that I can't give to like Vanguard is it destroys bosses extremely quick. And guess what? It also has ammo economics. That's why I can't really put it, uh, Vanguard any more higher. Uh, any higher. Also, Sniper has. Um, Ammo, ammo economics, what if it's multi-kill, gives it ammo back. And then Heavy just has insane amount of, like, just extra damage. If melee was just a better option, I feel like, in this game, than a, Van a Vanguard would be, like, the only reason I'm really putting him here, I don't really think he deserves to be here, just that, um, I guess some people, I, I don't know, I don't know if I made, like, the best mold or if I was playing him right, but uh, I just didn't have fun playing the Vanguard that much. And so, yeah, that's why I'm going to put on the low A. I might put him a high B, depending. And so I'm going to move on to my um, last two classes. Bulwark, I definitely, like, I, this, is, this has to be, like, an extremely hot take. But I genuinely feel like the Bulwark is a little bit better than the um, Vanguard class. Not because it does more damage or any of uh, any of that. It just of like how much support the bulwark could um, assist its team. Like having a good bulwark is so f like good because you're able to just basically keep your team alive for just an incredible amount. When you're versing chaos enemies or you're versing any range, anything, you just can't die when you hold up your shield. On top of that, um, a lot of people underestimate like a good bulwark build. A, bul a good bulwark build with parry could take out any like major like miners like a lot of people think that the bulwark can't um deal with like hordes but it actually can if you run the parry class you could get like non-stop shock waves around you which will also like just make it to where hordes don't get on you because they're gonna die by the time they get to you but also you could also put your banner there so that's literally a safe haven for your team so you guys just can't die but, I'm not going to lie, the, da the damage is kind of underwhelming. The Plasma Pistol is uh, decent, does uh, decent damage. But, I'm not going to lie, the Vanguard kills a lot better than the uh, Bulwark. But, the Bulwark is, uh, provides a lot more assistance and support for the team. And, that's what it's supposed to do. And, I feel like you see, yeah, these classes are really good. But, they're all really good at killing, right? Uh, except for the Sniper. The Sniper is also really good at support, just um, getting your teammates up. But, the Bulwark makes sure your team doesn't die. And that's why I really feel like the Bulwark uh, kind of outshines the Vanguard. Because Van like, Vanguard has to compete with these guys. 
which all I think do its be uh, job better than the Vanguard because they all kill a lot faster or they just kill better and safer than the Vanguard. But none of these guys can really compete with the support that the Bulwark supplies. And, you know, that that's how it's supposed to be because the Bulwark's supposed to be uh, the support. And so I'll, I think this is going to be fine. The thing is that, don't get me wrong, the Vanguard isn't bad. But I feel like these guys do its job better. And the thing is that the Bulwark, there's no one that could really support as much as the Bulwark can. And the Bulwark can deal with hordes. The Bulwark can kill. It's just that it's not really what it's meant to do. And um, it could do it, you know. It's very flexible in uh, the way you can play Bulwark. I was able to solo uh, Bulwark with uh, solo Ruthless with Bulwark. So I definitely feel like it's strong. Then we're going to get to our last class. I know this, cl this class got buffed. Still not that good. I feel like this class definitely needs a little bit more buffs. I feel like it's less, more uh, more buffs on the Assault. I mean, they could buff the Assault, obviously. But I feel like they just got to make he like we uh, melee weapons a lot more viable. Because the melee weapons, like, okay, if they don't give me uh, a, lot, like, a lot of sustainability... At least kill like extremely fast. They don't really kill. Uh, they don't really kill extremely fast because um the tactical, the heavy, and the sniper could kill a whole lot faster, right? But they don't have to be in the butt. They don't have to be on the aliens' cocks to get a kill. So they don't have to be in danger to get any of the kills. But guess what? The uh, uh, assault class is primarily melee, so he has to get in there and kill them. And guess what? He's not killing as fast. He doesn't have a lot more sustainability. He doesn't have a lot of armor. And I stress this whole tier list that after the new patches, armor is very useful in this game, and you need armor to survive uh, because you can't overheal anymore. And to be honest, the assault class wasn't really ever overhealing unless you ground slam. The 30% damage increase to its, um, ground slam is definitely good. And the power, fa uh, power fist you know, buff was definitely needed, but like still not that good. I know there's a perk with the hammer that uh, you're able to restore armor, which I do think is good, but still the hammer just doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't really kill. Like you could still g get solo ruthless. Don't get me wrong. I, I literally did it with um, assault. It's just that compared to all the, all these other classes, assault is still the weakest. It still needs a little bit more buffs, maybe a little bit more damage to melee overall. Make um me like um melee just better at the in the game and just make the assault class do more damage. But other than that, this is the tier list. If you guys agree or disagree, put your um comments down below. If you guys like the video, please like and sub. I keep making um Space Marine two content, so every sub, every like is very much appreciated. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Okay, so I'm just ending this. Uh, I'm just adding this at the end of the video real quick. Um. For anyone that's wondering, they're like, oh, you didn't make a Vanguard uh, class, you didn't make a Heavy class. The only reason why I didn't make them, I have a max level, I was going to make it. The thing is that, I'm not going to lie, the build I was going to make, there was already like maybe two or three other builds that have that run almost the exact same thing. So I don't want, you know, the thing is that I made a couple of builds that are similar to other builds out there. But damn near, like, if I made the Vanguard or the Heavy class, there's only, like, the, the Heavy definitely has a lot more um, variants that you could uh, add on to it. But also, I just don't want to really want to make uh, too many build videos. I want the content to be more about, like, having fun and just doing challenges than uh, builds and, you know, all that. But I did promise I was going to do a class video. I did also promise I was going to do um a build for every thing. I might add it later. I might do it later, especially if uh, other classes get buffs or anything. Also adding this right here, um, if you guys disagree with the uh, Bulwark and Vanguard, I'm not going to lie, those are the only two that I'm not 100% sure on. But the only reason why I really put Vanguard there is because he's going to have to deal with the three big dick daddies while the Bulwark is not really competing with any class on uh, support. So this is actually going to be at the end of the video.